Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. Today we are going to be covering the brand new Gen 3 M12 fuel hammer drill, comparing it to the older Gen 2, and we're going to see how much improvement you can get by going with the new model. So let's get right into that on Tinker with Tools. so let's get right into it. The brand new Gen 3 fuel hammer drill is the one item out of the four brand new drills and impact drivers that I've recently gotten that I have been the most impressed with. Um, it's noticeably different in size and it seems to be more powerful. We're going to find out tonight in testing just how much more powerful that is, but let's kind of go into what some of the differences are. So right up front, one of the biggest differences is the Gen 2 had an E-clutch this one is back to mechanical clutch. So I know a lot of people prefer a mechanical clutch. That is one of the differences there. The other difference is the Gen 3 is actually down in speed in its highest gear compared to the old one. This one was capable of 1700 RPMs. We are actually down to 1550 RPMs in speed two in the Gen 3. Speed one does actually remain the same, 450 RPMs in both of these. We're also seeing lower BPMs in the hammer drill setting with this one coming in lower than the previous model. Now, lower in speed doesn't always necessarily mean that it's going to perform worse. This one is actually stated to have 50 inch pounds more torque at 400 than the previous model at 350. The other big noticeable difference is going to be the size. I don't know if you can really see this well on camera. I'll try and get a different view, but it is roughly a half an inch, maybe just a little bit more shorter than the previous model. And so that is something that I think is most impactful when looking at these two is just how noticeable the difference in size was. So let's go ahead. We're going to show you some quick specs and then we'll go right into the testing so you can see exactly what we're dealing with here as far as performance between these two. All right, so the first test we're going to do tonight, we are going to switch it up a little bit just because of the smaller tools. Uh, to start out, we are using a fully charged six amp hour battery, uh, the XC 6.0 for the first time on these. We are gonna be in drill mode and speed two. We're gonna start by doing four three and a half inch deck screws. Obviously a pretty suitable job for a drill this size. <laughs> And now with the Gem 3 M12, once again, fully charged 6.0 in speed two in drill mode. Now we're gonna be doing a four inch Spax with the T30 bit, and we are still in speed two. First with the Gen 2. Okay, we are getting a cutout. Drop down to speed one to finish that. So we are still in speed two with the Gen 3. So very early on, we are seeing a difference in the tools. Now we're gonna be moving on to a five inch spat. First with the Gen 2, we are going to go back up into speed two, give it one more chance. We will drop down into speed one. If it fails this time, we'll probably stay in speed one. Okay, getting the cut out. Just making sure we are still in drill mode. And now in speed one, continuing. Now right on to the Gen 3, still in speed two. So you can fill it bogged down, but then it just picks up and kind of continues on and powers through it. All right, so now we are going on to a five inch power lag, first with the Gen 2. Okay, and now with the Gen 3, you can feel that extra power going to work on those bits. All right, now a six inch timber lock first with the Gen 2. It will do the job, it's just not doing it as fast as the newer Gen 3. Okay, we did get a cutout. We were able to finish that 
Okay, we are gonna switch over to some drilling tasks now and we'll kind of go through those and then we'll come back for some conclusions. All right, so we are just gonna be drilling into this pressure treated two by eight. We are gonna start with a three quarter inch Diablo Speed Demon and we are going back up into speed two with the Gen 2. Okay, so it did go through, we did cut out twice. So now we are gonna go with the Gen 3, still full bars. We are in speed two, in drill mode still. That extra power that we're seeing in this tool is proving to be the difference. The speed is doesn't seem to be making a difference because it's got the power to get the jobs done, whereas the other one is cutting out. All right, so now we are going up to a one inch speed demon. Okay, three, two, one. Now the one inch speed demon in the gen three. I will say this, the gen three is getting noticeably warmer. So we are in speed one. This is a three quarter inch spider boring bit with the Gen 2. And with the Gen 3 in speed two. The final test for these tools is going to be the inch and three quarter Irwin speed bore. We are going to see if they can even do it. It did it. Let's go ahead and get a temperature reading. All right, max of 104.1 on the Gen 2. All right, we are in speed two, one. Okay, we're getting an instant cut out. So we're gonna go ahead. So getting a temperature reading here, max temp I'm seeing 123.4. So, I mean, it is 20 degrees hotter. It feels noticeably warmer. All right, so let's talk conclusions. If you watch my first impression video, you'll know that the M12 fuel hammer drill was the one tool out of the four that I looked at in that video that I was actually excited about after my first impressions. The other ones, they felt a little too similar to the prior generations. And although I've started to see some differences in them, this hammer drill actually stood out right from the get-go as being an upgrade over the prior generation. Noticeably smaller. It doesn't necessarily feel lighter, but it is smaller. They went with that mechanical clutch versus the electronic clutch on the prior one. The, fuel, the selector switch, I think, is a little bit more refined. There's actually more to it. So even though it's gotten bigger, it actually gives you a better hold on it. And just overall, I think the fill and fit and finish of this drill is improved. Now, if that was all that you were seeing as far as an improvement, I think it could be a worthy upgrade for you to go out and get this tool. But even though you're seeing a decline in speeds, I do think you are going to notice faster drive times on fasteners and faster hole times on drills and being able to go through more holes in your, or being able to complete more tasks in your higher speed which is going to lead to faster drive and drilling times on this next on the generation three of their hammer drill. The while I think that the M12 fuel Gen 2 impact driver was the top of its class, I don't know that this drill ever was necessarily top of its class. It certainly was a good drill, and as long as you kept it to the size of things that it was capable of doing, I think it did a wonderful job. That's where the difference in this shines is this is actually doing stuff that I feel is above its weight class and it's able to complete those tasks. Um, doing a lot of the driving tasks we had in speed two and then obviously compete, completing almost all of the drilling tasks in speed two before that last hole when we had to drop down to speed one to complete it. Both of them had to do it in speed one, but that was the first one that the gen three had to drop down to speed one to be able to do. And at that, it still did it in faster time, I would say, just judging from my own personal opinion, having actually looked at the times yet. This is a better drill in almost every way that I can illustrate for you that you're gonna be seeing here. This gets a wholehearted two thumbs up from me. This is a buy recommendation. I don't know what other way I can say it. This is the winner 
of the tools that they released in the drilling and driving category at this most recent pipeline event. It is the most impressive one there. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Um, even if you just wanna see something tested with these tools, please go ahead and leave them down in, that, in the comments and I'll try and work them into future content. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Make sure you mark that bell notification so that you can get notified when I release a new video. Until next time, this has been Tinker with Tools. Thanks for watching.